we, uh, we got to talk about our main event. It's odd that John Cena is not the main event, but it's actually the world champion edge. And he's going to be defending against Jeff Hardy. As a reminder, back on the May 1st SmackDown, there was a number one contenders match to determine who's going to face edge at judgment day. So we're leaving ourselves all the two weeks to build this. And it winds up with Jeff Hardy pinning Chris Jericho or beating rather Chris Jericho, Kane and Ray Mysterio in an elimination match. So there was lots of possible contenders, but Jeff Hardy gets the nod and they get plenty of time, nearly 20 minutes. And Meltzer would say the crowd seemed tired here. It may have been, they were taken out of the show by the prior match, not getting over the two get the, did get the crowd going by the end, but it took a lot of work. Uh, edge is going to go through the announcer's table. Hardy's running around the barricades edge is getting up and jumping off the table and spearing Hardy off the barricades. It's a huge spot. Hardy's hitting the whisper in the wind for a near fall. They're all over the floors. Hardy is teasing poetry in motion off the ring steps on edge. And Matt Hardy comes from the stands and clocks Jeff with his cast. Ed's going to throw uh, edge is going to throw Jeff into the ring, go for the pin, but Jeff kicks out edge goes for the spin, but Jeff ducks and edge winds up spearing the turnbuckles. So Jeff climbs to the top. He's acting groggy and dazed and loses his balance. Edge climbs up the ropes, brings him off with the top of the rope, uh, DDT and gets the pin. Always a good match with these two. Never have to worry about that. Heavy on story here with a little cameo from, uh, from Matt Th- three and three quarter stars. What'd you think of, uh, this in the main event position? I thought that rating was about was good. I thought it was fair. Uh, three and three quarter stars is nothing to sneeze at. That's for damn sure. Uh, but I, I, these, these two guys had, had paid their dues as we say probably too much, but, uh, they looked at this as a great opportunity. Two guys are primarily known as tag team wrestlers, uh, as a result of the TLC matches. So now you split them up a little bit and you got edge and Jeff Hardy who already had a relationship, so to speak, uh, uh, rivalry. Uh, they knew how to work with each other. So, uh, I, I, I thought it was good. I had no issue whatsoever with that match closing the show. There might've been some talent that did cause they're just in enti- the entitlement thing. <coughs> so, uh, excuse me. Uh, but I thought it was good, man. I, it was what we needed to do. We needed to get some new blood in the main event slots to see how they were going to do. And, uh, but I thought, I thought both those guys delivered famously. As in Jeff Hardy, man, I mean, just you think about all their great tag team wars and then their singles matches. It feels like just a timeless rivalry, a timeless classic. Uh, they more than held their own in the main event position. And a member of uh, adfreeshows.com who's uh, sitting here with us live today, Denovius Mack says, did Edge have any reservations working with Jeff Hardy considering all that went down with Lita, Matt, and Edge? I know that was a few years prior. Was there any sort of residual hurt feelings here or had we moved past all that by this point? I think we had moved past it because it was not something that came across my desk. Uh, well, we got a problem. These guys don't want to work together. They looked at this as opportunity. Two young guys who made their mark in tag team wrestling, finally getting a singles opportunity at the close of pay-per-view for the title. Uh, you don't need to say much more than that. And they took that as a challenge and they went out there and, and had a hell of a match. I thought it was just, just outstanding. And, and there, and contrary to big shows too much time, I thought these guys, uh, could have used a little bit more time if they needed it. Uh, but it was good. It was really good. They, 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 all those guys like that were looking for opportunities. And we saw that Jeff Hardy was going to be a big star. Uh, audience just gravitated to him for whatever the reason. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. I mean, they loved the guy. He excited them. He gave them something new and fresh. And, uh, at that, during that time, I don't know that we had a better heel than edge. Uh, he might've been the best we had, and I'm not going to, I don't know who it would be, but he was great because he worked at it and he perfected it. And, uh, I just, I really had a, a lot of love for both those guys. 
I think a lot of people have felt like Jeff belonged in this top spot for a long time. I mean, we were back in like 2002, I think when, uh, you were, you know, doing that call with him and undertaker, go make yourself famous kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, here we are nearly seven years later Yeah, and, and he won the world title at the end of 08. Now he's in the world title hunt here again with edge edge is probably doing the best work of his career up to this point. Jeff is finally in that spot. I mean, I know that, you know, we, we heard from, uh, Stephanie saying we're trying to make new stars. I would argue that this era really elevated edge and Jeff Hardy. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah, absolutely. Here's the thing. They, they were given an opportunity Conrad with a, under, under bright lights, spotlights, if you will. And they delivered, uh, and that's what we, that's what as a company we needed to see. And, uh, they proved without a shadow of a doubt, they were both ready for prime time. Well, I think they were too. I think this is probably edge's best, uh, work. And, and I think he's probably the best heel in the business in 2009. Let's get to some fan questions. Uh, Michael Gavin Ali over on YouTube wants to know, Hey, Jr. in time, do you think the PG era of WWE during 2009 has hurt WWE viewership in the long run for raw and SmackDown. No. Okay. I don't, I, don't. Uh, I think that it's all a matter of uh, smart booking and execution by the talent. Uh, that's the key thing every time. So, uh, the, the rating, the PG era, the ruthless aggression era, the attitude era, it's all about talents getting over and executing. And for the most part, uh, we were successful in that regard. So, but I don't think it had anything to do with it, to, to any significance. Might not have been somebody's cup of tea. Somebody that wanted a lot of blood and guts might've been a little, felt a little empty at times. I don't know. Uh, but if you're solely depending on blood and violence for your ratings, uh, you might be traveling the wrong road. It's just a short, it's a short term fix, uh, have basic, strong, well-told stories. It's what you're looking for. And they don't always come with blood and guts. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson here to tell you a little more about what adfreeshows.com is all about. Get early ad free access to more than a dozen of your favorite wrestling podcasts every single week, starting at just nine bucks. That's less than 20 cents an episode each month. And yes, you can listen to them all directly through Apple podcasts or your regular podcast apps. How easy is that? Ad free shows also has thousands of hours worth of bonus content and docu-series like title chase, Eric fires back conversations with Conrad and the insiders plus new series like the book with David Crockett, Monday mailbags with Mike Kyoto and Nick Patrick and a whole lot more. And you want to talk about early. You can't get any earlier than listening to the shows live. You can be a part of the live studio audience as we record the podcast. Plus ride shotgun alongside your favorite childhood heroes for live watch alongs, Q and A's and other interactive experiences every single month. Come on now, see for yourself what thousands of other wrestling fans from around the world have discovered that adfreeshows.com is the best value in wrestling. Check it out today. And Hey, when you do the first week is completely free Adfreeshows.com. 